Welcome back everyone. You may be getting some problems with your iPhone or for, where for some reason you're just not getting iMessages from your Android devices. Now this can happen for a couple of different reasons. The first thing I would recommend doing is making sure that that person that you're texting from or you're getting texts from isn't blocked. So what you can do here is make your way over to your settings. You want to go under your little notifications. You want to go under your phone connections down here and you just want to go ahead and make sure nobody's blocked. Now there's going to be a little blocked option. Just go and click there and you want to see if they're blocked. Most probably they're not. The next thing I would recommend doing is sometimes if you're on Wi-Fi, you will still be able to get iMessages, but you won't be able to get actual text messages. And that may be because of your SIM card. Maybe the SIM card that you put in isn't working properly, or maybe you're in an area that has bad signal and you're connected to Wi-Fi. I've been in situations where I wouldn't get a text from an Android device until I was actually connected to cell signal because I don't know what it is. I thought, you know, like you could get texts over Wi-Fi. Sometimes that may not work properly. And if they have a different type of Android phone or an older one, there could be some issues on their end. So, so sometimes there can be issues on their end as well. Now, if that doesn't work, another thing you may want to go ahead and double check is if maybe you're sending the messages and they're not receiving them either, is to go under your settings. You want to go under messages, which is right here. Then you want to go ahead and scroll down. And where it says send as SMS right here, you want to go ahead and enable this. What this will do is just in case for some reason on their end, if they're not receiving your messages either, you want to go ahead and send as SMS. So just in case it cannot send as an iMessage, it'll go ahead and send as a, you know, SMS instead. And that may end up, you know, helping them receive your messages just in case they didn't see them. Another thing you can do is to actually update your phone as well. So just in case it is an issue with your device, you want to go back into your settings. You want to click on general. You want to click on software update and you just want to see if there's an update available for your device. I think for a majority of people out there, there should be an update available just like this one. And all you have to do is go ahead and click download and install and you should be able to install this update. Now, if there is an update, install it. That should probably fix it. If, if there is not an update for some reason, all you have to do really here, I would recommend is restarting your phone. So hold down the buttons that you normally would to restart it. Swipe to unlock or swipe to power off. See if that works. If that still doesn't work, what I would recommend doing. And this is going to probably erase some stuff from your phone, but nothing crazy. So I'd recommend doing a backup before you do this. But you want to go into your general settings. You want to go into transfer reset iPhone. And you want to go ahead and click reset right here. And you just want to reset your network settings. Now, this is not a guarantee that this will fix it, but it is one other way you can do it to pretty much fix this problem. But again, before you do this, it's going to go ahead and remove like your Wi-Fi passwords and different things like that. So you may want to make a backup of that step before you do it. So that pretty much covers it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.